Hi. Welcome. This is Kundalini Yoga with Akasha Kirtikar is my yoga name. And um, tonight we are going to do a practice that's centered around releasing anger. Specifically, the sort of internal anger, uh, anger that we feel about ourselves, anger that kind of festers within us. And that a lot of times we're unaware of or maybe wouldn't identify as anger. So uh, we're going to do that practice tonight. And we're going to do it in kind of three parts. So we'll do two short Kriyas. And Kriya is just a set of exercises that are about releasing anger. Then one's a, one that's a little bit longer. Then we'll go into a rest and relaxation. And then at the end, we'll do a meditation. And the meditation is really about now that we've released the anger, how do we move into a place of calmness? How do we release all that excessive emotionality and anger and just move into a place where we can listen to our internal wisdom? So that's the plan for tonight. Um, let's go ahead and find a nice tall seat. So walking yourself forward on your support so that your pelvis is tilted forward. And then taking a moment, actually just close your eyes and before we move into prayer pose here, just start to squeeze your hands up and down, your legs, your arms, your hands, your neck and shoulders and face. Just to this moment by connecting with the way that your physical body feels. Maybe you even pull your feet out and give yourself just a quick little massage on your feet. And as you're doing this, try to move into noticing the way that you feel, the way that your body feels. So notice the pressure from your thumb and your fingers. Notice the sensation, say, in your neck or your arms as you press. And whenever that feels complete, go ahead and let your hands go and move them up into prayer pose, lifting up through your sternum, pressing your palms into one another, lifting up through the crown of your head, letting your eyes roll up and in. And begin long, deep breathing, breathing from down in the earth, imagining that the breath comes from down below travels all the way up your spine and out the crown of your head and up to several feet above your head and then back down. And as you do this, notice the way that your breath feels in your nostrils. Notice if one nostril is taking in a little bit more breath. Notice the way that your stomach moves with your breath. Feel the warmth and the sensation of your hands pressing into one another. We'll tune in now with our opening mantra, Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. I bow to my inner wisdom. We'll do this three times. Eyes are up and in. Inhale. Ong Namo. Mangala Charn. 
आर करे नमे जुगार करे नमे सात करे नमे श्री गुरु जे वे नमे आर करे नमे जुगार करे नमे सात करे नमे श्री गुरु जे वे नमे आर करे नमे जुगार करे नमे सात करे नमे श्री गुरु जे वे नमे Inhale and hold your breath. Hold softly around the breath. Exhale, release the breath, release your hands. Let your eyes stay closed. Connect with your reason for being here. what you need, what you want. And let your eyes open. So we'll start by coming into a standing position. This is called the miracle bend. So, bringing your feet together, knees together, and really opening your toes up wide. Oh, my video unfroze. There we go. Okay, then your arms are going to come up overhead. Arms are close to your ears. Interlock your thumbs, palms face forward. Then you'll bend with one smooth motion 20 degrees back. So your head is slightly up and just begin long, deep breathing. We're just gonna hold this position for a couple of minutes. So this, this is a, a, a short little Kriya. It just has two postures, the one we're in now, the one we'll do in just a moment. And it's a really good one for if you're feeling uh, a lot of emotionality and a lot of anger, it can help to move you into a place of calmness pretty quickly. So it's a great four minute tool that you can use when you're feeling kind of out of balance. And it does balance at this navel point. Think of yourself long, lifting up before you lift back. If you ever need to rest, feel free to come up a little bit, rest, and then move back. We just have about 30 more seconds here. Okay, now maintain this position, but bend forward. Arms stay along the ears. Relax the shoulders, let everything hang down here. And as you're lying down or folding forward rather, you'll inhale, suspend your breath as long as possible and pump your navel. Then when you need to exhale, exhale. Hold the breath empty and pump.
Inhale, hold and pump. Whenever you need to exhale, hold empty and pump the navel. Just continue this pattern. Hands don't need to touch the floor here. Whatever your version looks like is just great. So we have a lot of stored energy in our navel center. We're moving this energy and utilizing it to help bring the sensations of calm. About 20 more seconds. Okay, inhale and slowly come up. Pause at the top and just notice how you feel. Okay, moving into our next Kriya now. Coming um, onto your back. Lie down like you're in Shavasana. I'm just going to adjust our camera now that we're done with the standing poses so that you can see me a little bit better. So from this position, lying on your back, you will just pretend to snore. So go ahead and just make loud snoring sounds and just have fun with it. So what we're doing here is we're releasing all of the tension. Part of the reason that we snore or that some people snore is the... Um, your, your tongue and uh, everything is nice and loose and soft. So just let everything loosen up and just snore. Just lie there and snore. Hands are just out to the side. Palms are facing up. I'm not going to do it with you because if someone tunes in, they will think I have fallen asleep on the job, which would be pretty funny actually. Keep going, keep snoring. Okay, go ahead and stop snoring, take a deep breath. Exhale. And now remain in this lying position. Lift the legs so that they're about six inches off the ground. I don't know if you can see that. About six inches off the ground and press your low back into the mat. So you're pressing the low back in. If it's difficult to keep the low back down, I want you to bend your knees a little bit 
bring those in, or you can place your hands underneath, um, underneath your body. That will help a little bit as well. So we begin with normal breath here, and we're just activating our core. So activating that navel point. We'll do a lot of work with the navel when we're working with anger because we're working on the pancreas and the liver. You can rest anytime you need to. We'll be here for a couple of minutes. Uh, you, some people even put like one leg, bend their knees, put one leg down where their toes touch the ground for a second and then the other one to take a little bit of pressure off of the stomach if it's a little bit much. So what we're talking about with this, just keep going here, legs six inches off the ground. What we're talking about with this Kriya or with anger is what we call in yoga inverted anger. So inverted anger might not look or sound like how we think about anger looking and sounding. Inverted anger is stuff like either feeling really inferior like you're less than someone else or having sort of like feeling like you're better than other people. Both of those two things are what we would call um, results of inverted anger. About 20 more seconds with your legs like this, then we'll make a little change. Um, this kind of inverted anger can also look like lying to yourself or other people, manipulation, um, and any sort of self sabotage. So anything that you're doing that's just not great for you, that's inverted anger. That's just anger turned inward. Okay, keep your legs where they are and now stick your tongue out and begin breath of fire through your mouth. We're just here for one more minute. One more minute. With the tongue out like this, we're helping balance the nervous system as well. Last few seconds. great. Keeping an eye on the clock because I know it's hard. Okay, you did it. Great. Now, raise your legs up to 90 degrees. So stay on your back. Legs come straight up. And if they need to bend a little bit, that's okay. Then you'll take your hands by the side of your body and you're just gonna pound your fists on the ground. So as you do this, you're trying to release anger. So I really want it to be fast and hard and like you mean it. So go ahead and begin. Just release, just beat the ground, really beat it. Release the anger. Even if you think, ah, I'm not very angry today, just see what happens when you just let that emotion move. There's so much stigma around anger, especially with yogis, ah, we don't get angry. And so we have this stuff that sits in our system and makes us sick, so release it. You're in your home, right? So you can even yell, scream, curse, whatever you wanna do, release your anger. Keep going.
shake. Keep going, keep going. Release your anger. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Let it out, let it out, let it out. Yell, scream. Pound the ground, fast, 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 hard. You've got one more minute here. Just lying on the ground, legs up 90 degrees, beating the ground hard and fast, releasing anger. Keep going. Last 15 seconds. Get it all out. Okay, good job. Bring your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your knees. Stick your tongue out. Inhale through your mouth, exhale through your nose. Keep going. Really hug those knees tight, long, deep breath. Feel the sensation of the breath over your tongue as it's out of your mouth, through your nostrils. With our knees pulled into our chest like this, we're putting pressure on those internal organs, pressure on the pancreas, pressure on the liver. Last 15 seconds here. Okay, inhale, exhale, release your legs. Just rest there for a moment. Notice how you feel. And then gently come up to a seated position. So from here, we're going to move into celibate pose. Celibate pose is a little tricky on the knees, so I'll show you a couple of options. So for um, regular celibate pose, you can start by sitting in rock pose, so sitting on the heels, then walking your knees out a little bit, your ankles out a little bit, and then sitting down in between. Okay, so. If this puts any strain on your knees, don't do this. You can try sitting on some sort of block, bolster, or cushion. Sometimes rising up a little bit will take pressure off the knees. If that doesn't take enough pressure off of your knees, then you can sit all the way 
in rock pose, or you can even just come into easy pose. So just find what works best for you and your knees. Whatever spot your legs are in, go ahead and take your arms and pull them across your body and like you're giving yourself a hug and pull your arms tightly into your chest. Then you'll sit up straight and tall, it's a little awkward, and you'll bend forward like you're bowing and then come back up. So it'll probably be easier for most of you to have something in front of you. So maybe you put a bolster down on the ground in front of you, something like that, a block. And as you bend forward, just bring your forehead to your support or just as far down as your head goes to the ground and come back up. So for these, you'll do about, um, it's about two seconds for one repetition. So it's about like this and then up. So keep going. Whatever version you're in, if your knees start to bother you, come out of celibate pose and find a different pose or find a cushion. We're doing a few things here. We're putting pressure on those internal organs again, liver. We're also activating our pituitary gland with this bowing motion. We're here for about one more minute. Sometimes once you get a little bit warm, you can lower the support system just a bit. Maybe go down a little bit farther, maybe not. As you inhale, think sat, exhale, think nam, I am truth. Okay, keep going, keep going. About 30 more seconds, then we're going to make a slight change to this motion. Be really gentle with your knees. Now, continue this motion for 30 more seconds, but move as fast as you can. Keep going, keep going, a few more seconds here. Inhale, squeeze root lock. Exhale, release. Bring your legs out gently, shake them out. Tender, tender. And just pause for a moment and notice how you're feeling, the effect of the posture. Okay. Now extending your legs straight out in front of you and then just beating your body. <laughs> So take the palms of your hands, go up and down your legs, your feet, your arms, and with your palm, just hit your body. Do this kind of quickly, should be a fast motion.
going, keep going. Maybe a little bit harder. Even though we're working on anger today, this is also really good for your immune system. Just another 30 seconds or so. Okay, inhale, hold the breath, squeeze root lock. Exhale, release, notice how you feel. Okay, come to standing. And for this one, you'll bend your body so that your torso is parallel to the ground. And then just let your arms hang here. So it's a little higher than, like for me, I think I'm parallel here and I have to lift up just a little bit. So bending here, your head can just look down at the ground. And we'll do um, the mantra, Guru Guru Wahe Guru, Guru Ram Das Guru. Okay, so it's like celebration of the internal teacher, um, and it's also a call to healing. And as we're doing this, we're putting pressure on these organs. So I'm going to start singing. If you have, uh, we can't really play the music on Facebook for copyright reasons, but if you have that nearby and you want to play the music and sing with it, you can do that as well. Be here for a few minutes. Guru, Guru, Wahe, Guru. Guru Ram Das Guru 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 Wahe Guru Guru Ram Das Guru 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 Wahe Guru Guru Ram Das Guru 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 Wahe Guru Guru Ram Das Guru. Keep going. Guru Guru Wahe Guru. Guru Ram Das Guru. Guru Guru Wahe Guru. Guru Ram Das Guru. Guru Guru Wahe Guru. Guru Ram Das Guru 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 Wahe Guru Guru Ram Das Guru 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 
keep singing. Come down into Cobra Pose. Hands underneath shoulders, elbows down, head lifts up, or you can move onto your elbows for Sphinx Pose. Guru, Guru, Ahe, Guru, Guru, Ram Das, Guru, 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 Ahe, Guru, Guru, Ram Das, Guru, 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 Ahe, Guru, Guru, Ram Das, Guru, 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 Ahe, Guru, Guru, Ram Das, Guru. Keep singing. Move your head in circles. Gently. Guru, Guru, Ahe, Guru, Guru, Ram Das, Guru, 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 Ahe, Guru, Guru, Ram Das, Guru, 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 Ahe, Guru, Guru, Ram Das, Guru. Okay, stay in Cobra, keep singing. Feet come up and down alternatingly hitting the ground with the tops of your feet. Guru, Guru, Ahe, Guru, Guru, Ram Das, Guru, 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 Ahe, Guru, Guru, Ram Das, Guru, 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 Ahe, Come down and rest for a moment on your belly. And then when you feel ready, come up, sit in easy pose. The last part of this Kriya is Sat Kriya. Normally we do Sat Kriya in rock pose on our knees. This one, we stay in easy pose. We're, we also only do it for a minute and 15 seconds. We normally do it for at least three minutes. So arms will come up overhead. You'll interlace your fingers. Female energy is left thumb over right. Male energy is right thumb over left. Index finger is extended. Arms straighten, if possible, hugging the ears. You'll say sut as you pull the belly up. Nam as the belly relaxes. Let's begin. Sut, nam, sut, nam, sut, nam. Eyes are up and in. The third eye. Sut, nam, 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 sut, nam. Sat, nam, 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 sat, nam. Inhale. Suspend the breath, squeeze root lock, pull the energy up through the spine, up through the fingers. Exhale, keep the arms lifted. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze. 
Inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms down. Pause and rest. Observe. Okay, that's the end of that Kriya. Now we're going to do one more, just short one, like that first one that we did, and then we'll move into Shavasana. So this one's fun because you just get to pound, <laughs> more pounding. So you'll sit here in easy pose, you'll put your hands into fists, and then you're going to hit your solar plexus. So solar plexus is um, not the low belly, but sort of that upper belly, just below the chest. And you'll hit with a good amount of force so that it actually moves your body. And as you come down like this, you'll also pull the belly in and up for HUD. HUD. H-A-R. Sounds like H-U-D. HUD. HUD. It's that seed, that seed of change. So as the arms come up, they cross in front of the chest and then they come down and hit, hit the solar plexus. HUD. 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 Okay, go ahead and begin. Hut, 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 Keep going while I tell you a little bit about this. So Yogi Bhajan talked about this very simple thing can help release sort of stored, pent up inner anger that can take years to release otherwise. So you're sort of forcing it out. You're moving that energy. So really, you know, don't hurt yourself, but really move, move your hands into your, into your solar plexus. Hut, 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 hut. Find your own rhythm. Hut, hut, hut. about a minute and a half more here really feel that stuff releasing right actively setting that intention release it release it release it hut 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 Hut, 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 h
30 seconds. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, inhale, exhale. Now put your hands on your heart. Left hand on your heart, right hand on top of it. Silent meditation here. Just keep your eyes closed, sit up straight and tall. We're just going to come into balance. Just let go. Trust. Let go even more, allow. Feel or imagine you can feel yourself coming into balance. Feel or imagine you can feel all the inner anger just melting, leaving. When anger and fear are gone, the yogis tell us that what is left is wisdom. Feel that.
Inhale. Exhale. And come lying on your back for Shavasana. Covering your belly. Palms face up. Just noticing how you feel. And then just releasing your body into the ground. Relaxed breath, relaxed body. Just let yourself sleep and integrate all of that work. Allow your energy to move through your whole system as you relax. All the way up through the crown of your head.
As you're lying here relaxing, just imagine that there's all of these doors sort of on your body and around your body. And this kundalini energy that is you, that is the essence of you, you can decide how freely it flows or where or if it's pinched off. So begin maybe just opening these doors. Just imagine opening doors along, all along your body. It's sort of like you're opening up a panel to see into a circuit board or something. Open up this little panel along your body and up at the top of your head. And then just imagine you can see yourself sort of a bird's eye view. In, into this circuitry that is you. And maybe imagining you can see this kundalini energy, maybe you can imagine it looking like um, the movement of sort of light or color near the spine or in the center of the body. And from this vantage point, see if you can observe anywhere in your body that looks like the energy flow is a little bit pinched. Maybe the energy is narrower, flowing more narrowly through a certain area. Or maybe it's even completely closed off to a certain area of your body. And then just like you're a surgeon, just sort of imagine going into this panel and maybe opening up a little valve or shifting something around so that the energy flow can move freely all the way up from the base of your spine through the crown of your head. Just notice what that feels like as you begin to allow a greater amount of energy to flow more freely through your system. And make sure it's not pinched at the crown of your head either, so that it's flowing all the way out the crown of the head as well, above the body. And then once everything feels like it's been sort of opened as much as it would like to be today, then you can imagine closing those panels and sort of climbing back in your body and experiencing that flow of energy from within. And maybe noticing within the body if there's any pinching that needs to be sort of relaxed again, maybe around the throat or the crown of the head. And then imagine just widening that channel a bit, a little bit more energy flowing through your system. Maybe you can even imagine that energy flowing through your system, out through the crown of your head and connecting with the energy of, of us all, of the infinite. And then the energy of the infinite flowing back down to us, because that's where it's coming from, right? So flowing up and flowing back down into your system.
there's ever any fear around any of that, just say hello to it, that's okay. Inhaling, exhaling. See if you can keep that energy flow open as you begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. As you begin to circle your hands on your wrists and your feet on your ankles. As you begin to stretch your arms overhead. And then stretching your arms to the side and cat stretching from side to side. Eventually putting your hands and feet in the air, rubbing palms of your hands together and the soles of your feet together. Then grasping the front of your shins, rocking and rolling on your spine and coming to a seated position for our meditation. So this meditation is called Amarti Mudra Kriya. And um, what this is, is basically the idea is that um, the yogis are sort of defining free will here. So they're saying most of the time we're not really exercising our free will. Uh, most of the time what we're doing is we're acting on subconscious impulses. And so we are acting um, on an impulse, right? And they wouldn't really call that free will. They're just saying we have an impulse, we act on it. We're avoiding pain, we act on some impulse. So the idea with this meditation is that we move ourselves into a mental state where we're no longer reacting from fear of pain or reacting to our circumstances or doing reaction at all. But instead we're moving into a deep place where we are consciously choosing, we're consciously acting. And that, then we are exercising our will. So, for this one, you'll take your right hand. So the right hand and the left hand are going to have different mudras. The right hand, your thumb and pinky finger will touch. And then, and this is representing um, intuition and communication. Your left hand, it will be your thumb and your ring finger will touch. And this is your uh, physicality, your physical body. So find just a nice tall seat. Let your elbows rest against your body. Make your fingers really straight here. And um, they really emphasize the importance of getting this, importance of getting your hands correct. So actually look at your hands. Make sure your fingers are in a really good position straight up. Make sure those are perfectly placed. Then once you feel good about those being perfectly placed, go ahead and close your eyes and begin the visualization. And the visualization here is imagining that there's a beam of light, a pillar of light coming out of your third eye. So coming out of your forehead, coming out of the space between your eyebrows and moving out. So now really solidify this image. Keep the mudra perfect and then really visualize this perfectly, this beam of light. Now, once you have those two things, now we're gonna add a mental mantra. The mental mantra, so you're just saying it in your mind, is Ongkar, O-N-G-K-A-R, Ongkar. And it's we are one, we are one. So you'll imagine that that mantra is at your heart. So you're still beaming the light from between your eyebrows, Ongkar. Omkar is circulating around your heart as you hold the mudra. Those three things. Go ahead. And even though you're visualizing this beam of light and you're visualizing this mantra, Omkar, at your heart, you're allowing that channel that you've opened up during Shavasana to be open still. We are one. 
focus. Chin is slightly in, crown of the head is lifted, chest is lifted, Omkar, project on your forehead.
Inhale. Suspend the breath. Exhale, release the hands down into your lap. Let your eyes stay closed. Just notice how you feel. So this is what it feels like to have control over your mind. This is that neutral, non-reactive, non-fear-based space. See what it feels like. How do you feel about yourself from this space? How do you feel about the world from this space? We'll close with the long time sun song, bringing your hands into prayer pose at your heart, eyes roll up and in, singing to yourself in the world. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on may the long time sun shine upon you all love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Guide your way. Long set, short nom, one time. Sat nom. May you find peace in remembering who you are and courage as you go through your days. Sat nom.